gorgeous day and no Decepticons to ruin it. Yep, not a peep out of the creeps in months. <laughs> They're searching for all the loose parts we knocked out of them when we got Optimus Prime back. You know, they must be spread out all over the galaxy. Yeah, but will they stay there? They won't. What makes you so sure of that, Scattershot? They definitely won't, because I make out about a hundred blips heading right toward us. Optimus Prime! I'm... I'm okay, Ultra Magnus. Ever since I released the energy of the Matrix, I've had these overwhelming feelings that something's going to happen. Something big. A Decepticon attack? Bigger than that. Something unbelievable. Optimus Prime! We got every Decepticon in the known universe heading right down our throats! It's starting. Decepticon attack! Decepticon attack! Decepticons? Yeah, you know, rhubarb, big ugly guys made of metal. Who wanna melt us all down into scrap? I know who they are. I just wonder what they're up to. After we get outside, you can ask them. All the bots? are under my power light speed. You will back away. Back away. You feel powerless to resist. Oh. What are those spies up to? Time for me to do a little spying of my own as a Decepticon. In there. Galvatron told me to check up on you. Beat it, Tata Punch! We don't need your help! Fine. With my Autobot counterpart, I've heard he's nearby. Real nearby. There it is, the key! Grab it and let's go! doesn't feel right, Prime. I know. The whole thing's beginning to smell like a diversion. But for what? That's what we've got to find out. The time of the Decepticons' final victory is nigh to Cybertron. Oh no. Punch, are you alright? It's happening. Just as I sensed it would. Ultra Magnus, round up every Autobot we can spare. Get them to the shuttles. Where are we going, Prime? Cybertron.
just fine, Daniel. Fine? You did great! Hey, Blur! Long time no see! Don't give me that stuff! I was robbed! I was robbed! Do you hear me? This whole thing is fixed! He had an unfair advantage! You see? Hot Rod won because he had help from Daniel! So? What's that prove? It proves, Hardhead, that my basic theory is sound! What's all the hubbub? Oh, Brainstorm's trying to prove that we could function better with human operators inside us. Human partners, Highbrow! The problem is where they would inhabit us when we're in robot form! Correction! The problem is you and your stupid ideas! I think it's a neat idea! Well, we Autobots are always fighting. Must we drag you humans into it, too? I think we already are in it, Cerebros. But it might give us the edge if the Decepticons did return. That's not gonna happen. Cop, highbrow. The Decepticons are heading your way. How many of them, Prime? All of them. Of course, I have been wrong on one or two occasions. Cop. Galvatron stolen the key to the plasma energy chamber. Now what? It's a storage chamber. Twelve levels below generator C. May I ask why everyone's going to such trouble over this thing? The plasma energy chamber is the foundry in which the original Autobots' bodies were forged millions of years ago. Since then, every Autobot later has been charged with guarding the key with his life. Whatever happens, don't let them open it. Like they're already here. Not so fast, Decepticons! You're gonna have to deal with the aerial bots first! Six shot! Show them what a one robot army is! Transformers will return after these messages. We now return to the Transformers. Whatever overloaded the engines must have shorted out all the wiring. Well, let's fix it. Every second we wait takes us a million miles farther from Cybertron. He is gone, you miserable pile of junk! I ought to have you stamped down into tinfoil for losing it! Wait! Mikey Galvatron! Remember, tinfoil can't talk. Scourge may be able to tell us what happened to it. Hmm, power surge damage. An infusion of fresh energy may help. The Autobots took the key. So you let the Autobots beat you? I let nobody beat me. It was the energy from that blasted chamber. It overloaded me, then hit the ship. That plasma energy is lethal. It nearly killed me. You will follow them. You will get the key and you will destroy them. 
That suits me fine. The rest of you go with him. Make sure he doesn't fail again. The engines are finally burned out. Maybe now we can get the retros working and actually steer this thing. Well, you'd better, because we're about to slam smack into a planet. Prepare for crash landing! Oh, by sinking good thoughts, that would help! I did, this is it! I just know it, I know it, I know it, I know it! We're all gonna die, we're all gonna die! This is it, this is the end, we're finished! <laughs> Let's hope we hit something soft, lad! Hang on, Daniel. We're gonna get back to Cybertron. Come on. Maybe there's a used ship dealer around here somewhere. At least a payphone. Machines. We've got to warn the others. They don't look like anything the Hive ever sent after us before. What does that matter? They're machines. If the Hives found our secret base, we're finished. Let's go. That ship left a particle trail a mile wide. All we have to do is keep following it, then we'll meet up with them soon enough. Here we are sightseeing while the Autobots are getting their tailpipes kicked in by Galvatron's goons. Well, at least we got the thing they were after in the first place, sure shot. You know, this reminds me of the time my platoon was stranded on Regulan 4. There we were, only 700 of us against three whole Regulan metal mongers. 700 of you? Against three of them? Ah, come on, cop. You ever seen a Regulan metal monger, lad? Uh, no. Trust me, we were outnumbered. Look! Up ahead! Boy, are we glad to see you! Are you crazy? What are you doing? They've got humans with them, Firebolt. Quick thinking, Haywire. What are you doing? Collaborating with these stinking hive machines. I don't know what you're talking about. These are Autobots. Auto what? It's a stinking hive trap. That's what it is. We'll take them back to the caves. I'll figure out how to finish them off there. Fast lane, Cloud Ranker. I want you to search the planet until you find the key. Roger, Dodger, Optimus Prime. Roger, Dodger, Optimus Prime. Roll out. This is ridiculous. Doesn't he know who we are? Maybe we should get a new PR man. Well, I fear your logic is faulty. You assume a priori that we are malevolent without first. Ah, oh, shut up. Tell me, what is this planet anyway? Nebulon. Enjoy it while you can. This is nuts. They're not evil. All machines are evil. Now, come on, unless you want to get blown up. Listen to me, those Autobots aren't even from this planet. Death to the Hive. The Transformers will return after these messages. We now return to the Transformers. More of your friends? No. Those are our enemies. Come. I may have been a bit hasty in my judgment. Stupid is more like it. Come on. We're all gonna get stomped into guacamole if you don't release the Autobots now. All right, so come on. What is this fight? What's going on? What's happening out there? Come on, tell me, tell me, tell me. The Decepticons just joined the party. You've got the wrong bunch. He's right. Let us go. We're not your enemies. Those were our lost energy bombs. If we free them, we'd have 20 machines after us instead of just 10. Do it. Right, I'm setting them free.
some help? With what? The magnetic bombs! Let him have it! Go! Grab the My son, can you do anything for him? We've some medical equipment in one of the other caves. We will do what we can. Please do. He saved my life. And he's my dearest friend in all the world. It would not be unreasonable to surmise that they went up into those hills. No, don't! You'll never make it through that forest! Trust me! Trust you! Are you mad? You wanted to blow us up! I'm beginning to understand why you guys don't like machines. You'll never get past them. All right, let's regroup back at the caves. The boy will live, but there's been severe internal damage. He will have to rely on these life support machines unless we can get something more portable. Hi, Dad. Hello, son. RC, you're okay. Thanks to you. Who built those machines, Gort? The Hive. The machines maintain the environment of Nebulos. Except for out here. You never come out here. But the machines are also enforcers. One run, look out! No, no! Enforcers for the hive. For here on Nebulos, it is the people who serve the machines. And the machines serve the hive. Ten rulers and their supreme leader, Zarek, living far under the ground. They've developed their mental powers to the point where they can control machines with their very thoughts. But their bodies have weakened and are totally useless. The machines are the hive's eyes and ears and fists. We Nebulons discovered what the hive was, and we've been fighting them ever since. Duros, Styler, Arcana and I are strategy. Pinpointer, Firebolt. Recoil, Haywire, Peacemaker, and Spoil Sport are our soldiers. Everyone a crack shot. Yeah, we've been dodging those machines all our lives. And we know every weak spot on them. But if we had your strength, your size, your, your power. In other words, our bodies. You know, Brainstorm, an idea of yours is beginning to make more sense by the minute. You mean putting humans, uh, nebulans, inside the Autobots' bodies? It's the only way we'll ever defeat the Hive's machines. And it's the only way we can rescue the others and keep the Decepticons from getting this! And it's the only thing that'll save my son from being tied to a life support system. Let's do it! I'm sure I can make these modifications, Brainstorm. I'm ready. What about you, RC? You couldn't stop me. What about you, Cerebros? No. What? I must stand by what I believe in. But we're helping these people in their fight. My one wish is to never fight again. Okay. I guess that means he's out. How about you two? I suppose it's the only meritorious way out of a meretricious situation. Yeah, me too, like he said. But what happens to our memories, our personalities, whenever we detach our heads from our bodies? You simply download into the auxiliary memory circuits in your chest. Everybody ready? Spike, one request. Give me Daniel. I couldn't think of a better partner for him. Autobots. About to become headmasters. There, finished. Okay, Duros, you're our combat veteran. Which Autobot do you want to bond with? I'll take Hardhead. Him and me should get along just fine.
Arcana, you're the wisest and oldest among us. Who do you choose? I choose Brainstorm. His mind is undisciplined, but I find his youthful ideas most refreshing. How about you, Mr. Stylor Man? I'll take Chrome Dome. Oh, that leaves me with highbrow. Not my first choice, but he'll do. And the last one's reserved for my boy, Daniel. Easy, son. Hold on tight. Wow. I'm sure RC will take good care of you. Nebulons and Autobots, prepare to merge. <laughs> hey, Duros! Welcome to the club. Glad to be aboard. How you doing, RC? <laughs> Hope you don't mind carrying me around like this. You know I don't, Daniel. It's weird. I feel like we're a part of each other now. I know. I feel it, too. Hey, eyebrow, what's happening? I got stuck with you? I was hoping for someone who at least approached my own intellectual capacity. Well, I'm not too thrilled about the accommodations either, but we've got bigger things to worry about. Great! I can't wait to give those rotten hive machines a major pounding! Great, huh? You call me Strangle Great? Rip off one of the tentacles! I'm trying! I'm trying! One clear shot down that hole will destroy it. Don't think I can make it, Arcana! Let me guide your actions. Totally scramble the machine circuits! Like what? Like your fist! Oh! Now, one well-aimed shot into that hole should finish it off! You gotta be kidding! It's the only weak spot if it's connected to the main brain circuit. Of course, if it isn't, we'll have to keep ripping off tentacles till we get it. Ah, the heck with it! Ah! Court. Such swift devastation has never been committed against the Hive's machines before. Surely the Hive will be aware of it. So what? Let them! We can take them all on now! Can that be, Gort and Arcana? We must destroy them, Zarek! Exterminate! Exterminate! No, not yet. I wish to observe them. It could prove valuable for us. Sign of Hot Rod Cup and the others, Optimus Prime. Or the key to the plasma energy chamber. Something is terribly wrong here. Prime, where are you going? To get some answers. Now maybe we'll get some answers out of your auto fools. Well, Blur, anything to say? You'll never make me talk, you dirty Decepticon rat. I'll never say a word, not a word, not a word. I'll never, 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 never talk. How about you, old-timer? Want to tell me where the key to the plasma energy chamber is? Ah, uh, go stick your head in a black hole, Scourge! Leave him alone, you slime ball! If you want to torture somebody, torture me! <laughs> Call your cylinders, lad. I can take it. Yuck. No more other words make me want to puke. You just love to waste your time, don't you, Scourge? What's that supposed to mean? Well, isn't it obvious? If any of these losers had the key, the other Autobots would be all over us by now. That's exactly where we are, Scourge! Five of you against all of us? You're mad! Oh, yeah! Headmasters, show them what you've got! Charge! <laughs> Rebels have been hiding. The heads of those metal beings become robotic exosuits. They're muscling onto our turf. I say we rub them out. Ah, but 
this development could be most useful to us. Prime, where are you going to get these answers you want? From the one who created me. From Alpha Trion. But he's in Vector Sigma, the computer which gave us all life. And with the shell of the Matrix, I may be able to reactivate Vector Sigma and merge with it. They sure gave us a pounding. And as long as they have the advantage of secondary operators, we will never regain the key to the plasma energy chamber. Zarak, I have a little deal to offer you. One which will enable you to defeat your adversaries. And all it will cost you is your heads. The Transformers will return after these messages. We now return to the Transformers. to defeat the Autobots, and we get new bodies in the form of robotic exosuits made from your heads. We don't make deals with organic creatures. You have no choice. All right. All right, we'll deal. How very wise of you. Just one thing. You can only have the heads of the animals. Still you. You'll do as I say or you'll die. And what will you five offer us? Our weapons. You can modify them as you would the heads. A hive operator in a powerful weapon. Not such a bad idea. Well, enough bargaining. Remove your heads. Let the transformations begin. Alpha Trion. I've been expecting you, Optimus. Then you know why I've come. Nebulos. That which you seek is there. Nebulos? But how did Brainstorm and the others... Plasma energy. The chamber was opened momentarily, and a bolt of plasma energy struck their ship, sending them millions of miles into space. One bolt did all that? It is raw energy. It seeks out any entity that transforms matter into energy and overloads them totally. Only organic life is unaffected. But hear me, Prime. A second golden age of Cybertron is almost at hand. But whether this comes to pass depends on the merging of an Autobot's life with that of a human being. How do you know this, Alpha Trion? Vector Sigma itself. It was Vector Sigma who arranged for Galvatron to learn of the key's existence. Alpha Trion. It makes no sense. Do not question Vector Sigma's motives. The parameters of its thought matrix are greater than you can imagine. A final warning, Prime. Whatever happens, the key to the plasma energy chamber 
must not be destroyed. Vector Sigma commands it. Did you get your questions answered? Yes. And every answer led to a bigger question. But something's happening on Nebulos. The Decepticon modifications are complete, Lord Zarek. Excellent. Proceed to bond with them. I remain to work on a new plan, one which involves our entire city. You can't be leaving. I have no choice. The key is on Nebulos. Until I return, I'm leaving you in command. I know you won't let me down. We have real bodies. The boys are coming. Nice stick. I hope you like busting heads. Yeah! I like busting Autobot headmasters better. I live only to destroy our mutual enemies. <laughs> Such a better. Now you can call me Scatterburst, because I never missed a shot in my life. But you've never taken a shot in your life. See when I lie to you? Call me Blowpipe, because I want to blow those rebels away. <laughs> those Autobots are going to be molten metal. All right, knock it off. And what are my weapon? It's me, I'm Fracas. And if you think Blowpipe was bad, I'm worse. And you're louder. I am Spasma. And I am crunk. You two better not get out of line with us, or we'll get mad. Yeah, we'll get mad. Uh, we'll see you, boss. Oh, me, a top hive scientist paired with a mangy night scavenger like you. The powers of darkness are a more powerful weapon than all the toys your science can muster. Now. Unite with me. Oh, yes, master. I am to be bonded to that creature? This project was a bad investment. Let us go. Hey, look! Cerebros, I found... A city. Well, at least his brain circuits are still alive. What was that city he mentioned? Maybe he found the lost city of the hive, where they lived before they developed their mental powers and moved underground. Fellas, we've got company. Autobots, prepare to die. The Transformers will return after these messages. We now return to the Transformers. Decepticon Target Masters, attack! <laughs> Decepticon Headmasters, destroy! They've got headmasters too. Those creeps swiping my idea. I'll sue. Come on, you dumb monsters. You don't scare me. Whoa, now you scare me. Can't you hit anything, Gabriel? What'd you expect? I knew it, this. Autobot headmasters. We could easily find which one of them has the key. Bah! What need have I for your scientific toys? Will I have my extrasensory powers? That one! The key to the plant my energy chamber! Give it to me! Go hang upside down from a tree, my boy! Oh! 
we must find the key. Sarah commands it. The headmasters and target masters, they are the hive. The key, I have it. Ah, but I have you, Nightstick. Run, let go of me. Arcana, activate my Hexo scanner. Run a full scan of his body. Wait. We have the key! Now let us destroy those accursed Autobots! No, no! We gotta get back to the Hive City! Zarek commands it! Never! Not until every last Autobot is a smoking pile of rubble! I don't care about your petty feud! I obey Zarek! We go! Now! Very well, Fracas, but this argument's not over yet. They're getting away! And they've got the key! We've got to follow them. Forget it. They can fly and you guys can't. But the key! Ah, you're forgetting one crucial thing. They can't get off this planet any more than we can. Besides, I've got something that'll help us get the key back. This is how they did it. This is how the Hive modified the Deceptor Creep's guns. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Six rebel sharpshooters? Six Autobots. Let's do it. Well, what do you know? Spike, how's it coming? It's done. Optimus Prime, I want you to meet some friends of mine. I don't see anybody. Show him, Cup! Recoil. Sure heard a lot about you, Optimus Prime. That's not all, not all by a long shot, not by a long shot, no, sir. I'm called Haywire, and I can nail a Deceptor Creep at 4,000 yards. <laughs> you bet. They call me Peacemaker. Foil Sport's the name, and there ain't a target I can't hit. <laughs> I'm Penpointer, and I'm an even better shot than he is. And I'm Firebolt. We are the Target Masters. And we're all... Headmasters now, Prime. Watch. How did this all happen? It's a long story, Prime, and with a couple of hitches in it. Yeah, the Decepticons are Headmasters and Target Masters, too. And they've got the key. Then let's get it back. This is the turn. We're wasting time here. You will wait. Zarax modifications are nearly finished. If I have to wait any longer, I'm gonna bust a gasket! Why wait? I'll be happy to bust it for you, Trigger Happy! You dare challenge us after the humiliation we served on you last time? Nothing you served up could ever humiliate an Autobot, Scourge. Annihilate them! <laughs>
How are we ever gonna fight that thing? I don't know, Hot Rod, but we've got to try. We've got to get back to Cybertron before Galvatron opens the plasma energy chamber. Someone, help carry Cerebros. No, Prime, please. We can't leave him here, Spike. Yes, you can. Because I'm staying here. No. You must come. Only organic life is immune to plasma energy. We need you, Spike. You're the only one of us who stands a chance if Galvatron unleashes the plasma energy. None of us stands a chance unless we have some way of fighting that thing. With Cerebros, I might give us that chance. Prime, it's got my boy. You must trust me. Uh, all right, Spike. Stay here with Cerebros. Autobots, we're off! That's the last of the aerial bots, Galvatron. My Combaticons have completed the construction you requested on the far side of the planet. Perfect timing! Combaticons, transport these deactivated Autobots to the construction site. We have a use for their miserable bodies. Oh yeah? For what? As fuel for the biggest rocket engine ever built. <laughs> At last, Cybertron is mine. You haven't even made the down payment, Galvatron. You pathetic fool. You'll never... Only Optimus Prime hadn't left us. Galvatron, the rocket is ready. Activate it. Hey, what's happening? The whole planet's moving. But of course. Now, you've all got some explaining to do. Are you out of your minds? You call yourselves Decepticons? Allowing these filthy organic beings to cohabitate your bodies? We had no choice, Galvatron. Besides, with them, we're ten times more powerful than before. You morons! There are no more Autobots! And I'm going to blow those creepy creatures clear out of you! <laughs> not so fast, tough guy! Yes, not so fast, Galvatron. I am Zarak. My nebulon brain forms the core of Scorponok, and within my city banks, I hold captive the Autobot who possesses the key you seek. All right, we'll talk. Cerebros, can you hear me? What? What happened? I'll explain later. I want you to take me to that city you discovered. We've got to use it to hit back at the Decepticons or we're all finished. No, no, no. I've had all the fighting I can stand. Leave me alone. The Decepticons have my son, Cerebros. Lord only knows what they're doing to him right now. <sighs> Very well. Now, will you give me the key? Or shall I have Monzo just rip it out of you? Don't you touch her! Hmm, there seems to be some feeling between these two. Monzo, start with the boy. It'll be a pleasure, boss. This'll teach you to mess with us, you little punk. <laughs> All right, leave him alone. You want the key, take it. Just don't hurt him anymore. How very wise of you, my dear. The key to the plasma energy chamber. No harm must befall it. It is the key to a miracle. Optimus Prime, come quickly. There's something weird going on here. Yeah, we're where we ought to be. But, but 
Cybertron's gone. The Transformers will return after these messages. We now return to the Transformers. I tell you, Cybertron's gone! But how could Galvatron move a whole planet? I don't know, but there's only one place he'd take it. Cup, head for Earth. What all this trouble's been about? At last! The key to the plasma energy chamber! You're not going to open that thing! Of course I am, idiot! One jolt of that plasma energy nearly killed me and blew the Autobots halfway across the galaxy! I am perfectly aware of that! Which is why I'm going to wait to open it until we're close to the Earth. <laughs> Will you? Ow. Which one of these is it? I recommend haste. It's working. How did you accomplish that? This is where the hive lived before they developed their mental powers. So they must have operated the machines by manual remote controls like this one. Which means now I can use the machines to rebuild this city. Into what? You're gonna find out, cause you're gonna be part of it. We're now in Earth orbit. What do you suppose Galvatron's up to? I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. This is worse than the worst. No. Uh, Prime. Ultra Magnus. What happened here? Galvatron got the key. Going to destroy Earth. Ugh. They'll all die soon without Energon. If Galvatron opens the plasma energy chamber, we'll all be destroyed. Along with the Earth, the Sun. Who knows how far the chain reaction might carry. It might go all the way to Nebulos. That does it, Optimus Prime. This is a menace to the whole galaxy. We've got to stop it by destroying that key. He's right. It's the simplest solution. No. The key must be kept safe at all costs. And whose dumb idea was that? Alpha Trions. Alpha Trion? You merged with Vector Sigma? It was Vector Sigma itself that enabled Galvatron to get the key. All this is happening for a reason. Hey, come back here! We're gonna destroy that key before it destroys Nebulous! Come on, team! You little creeps! We're stuck being vehicles without our heads! We've got to stop them. Gorpanak. Gordon, the others must have blasted their way in. Come on. We gotta stop our guys from destroying the thing that could wipe out the galaxy. And we gotta go straight into Deceptiville to do it. Yeah, we never seem to get a break. Well, now we've got a real party going here. Glad you could drop in, Prime. But if you're here for the key, you're too late. The plasma energy chamber. Ten minute delay should give us enough time to get clear. Then this entire solar system will be destroyed. At last, we're about to see the end of the Autobots. Even the indestructible Optimus Prime. So long, suckers! Decepticons. Prepare to face Fortress Maximus. Ready, Cerebros? Must you force me to do that which I hate? After we save the universe, old buddy, I promise you, you'll never have to fight again. Let's do it. Kiss your afterburners goodbye, Decepticons! 
slime! There's a giant rocket thruster about 2,000 meters away. 
Can you reverse its polarity from output to intake? It can be done, I suppose. Then do it. I'm going to shut down the chamber. what you asked. Yeah, but what did we do? We reversed that rocket's entire mechanism. Instead of putting out energy, it's gonna draw it in. Straight to Vector Sigma. Hold your breath, everyone, and pray. Cerebros, we're all safe. I'm very glad to hear that, Spike. And now that you don't need me anymore, please deactivate me. What? Are you out of your... I don't want to fight anymore. Please, Spike, shut me down forever. No way. You've got to see this. <laughs> The golden age of Cybertron has come again, Cerebros. Thanks to you and Spike. You don't have to fight anymore. But what of the Decepticons? There may always be Decepticons. But I have a different task for you. Still much to do here. The hive's evil machines must be destroyed. And your people must learn how to be masters of their own fate. We'll do it all right. Together! <sighs> it's good to be together again. RC, I just want to say, RC, I, I. You don't have to, Daniel. I feel the same way too. Cerebros. When the last of the Hive's evil is wiped out, you shall live here in peace as this world's guardian. Thank you, Optimus Prime. It's a miracle. It's a miracle we finally got this flying junk pile of yours stabilized. You were the idiot who opened the plasma energy chamber, Galvatron. Silence! There is much to do. We will attack other planets. We will suck them dry. We will rebuild the planet a hundred times more powerful than Cybertron. And I will rule the galaxy! Who will rule the galaxy? Me! It is my destiny! We shall see, Galvatron. We shall see. Transformers will return after these messages.